First John 5, 1 through 4. I'm going to be reading from the New Living Translation. And the Word of God reads, Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has become a child of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves his children too. We know we love God's children if we love God and obey his commandments. Loving God means keeping his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. For every child of God defeats this world, this evil world, and we achieve this victory through our faith. And who can win this battle against the world? Only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk for a little while today about victory faith. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Let's just talk about victory faith since we're moving in this direction. Mm -hmm. Want to kind of make sure we give some direction on which way we're going. All right. And as we look at these scriptures, there's two aspects of faith that I see. One of the aspects of faith that I see is when we believe in God to do something for us. Uh -huh. But then the other aspect of faith is, um, is defined as the faith by, me, by regeneration being born again. Uh -huh. So one of my faith, I, I might say, okay, are you in the faith? And you may say yes. And so in other words, you're saying that I have a relationship. I've been born again. Uh -huh. Okay? And then another time you may say, are, are you believing God through faith? So you're trusting God for something that you're asking him for. Yes. Uh -huh. But I want to submit to us, I, I believe we need to kind of push people to the point of getting them to answer the question, are you born again? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah because... Um, this stuff about do you believe, mm -hmm. um, I, I was a, bon, a bona fide sinner. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I was a bona fide sinner. And, but I was raised in church. Okay. Lord, help me today. And, and, and in church, they taught us that Jesus was the Son of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I absolutely bought into that he was the Son of God yeah. while I was still in my sin. All right. Uh huh. So, so the real question is, are you born again? Uh huh. Right? Uh -huh. See, because in order to really have victory, yeah. thing, that's right. Uh huh. That's right. It, it can't just be about words. Uh -huh. Lord, help me today. That's right. Uh, I can't just talk of victory, faith. I have to have a connection because yeah. this is the victory that overcomes the world. Right. Uh -huh. That's right. Even my job today. That's right. So, so we got to understand that I can't have victory uh -huh. without faith. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah, I may have a few successes. That's right. But I'm talking about victory. If I'm going to have victory, victory is going to take me from here to eternity. Yeah, right. Man. Uh huh. So right. I can't get caught up because. Um, I had a good year. That's right. Uh -huh. I, I won and, and, and I got everything going for me this year. No, no, no. Victory thing says I'm on this road yeah. for the long haul right. and I'm staying in this yeah. regardless of what comes, right. regardless of what comes or goes, I'm on this journey. All right. right. Yes. So just want to talk to you about some victory faith here mm -hmm. because a lot of times we consider faith as being positive speaking. Uh -huh. And it's really not just positive speaking. Mm -hmm. It really isn't positive speaking at all. And this is sometimes people think that because God uses you, that you love to always be used by God. Mm -hmm. That's not necessarily the case. That's right. Uh -huh. Some of my most frustrating times is when somebody say, pray for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, y'all don't want to talk to me today. <laughs> See, because praying for you, I know that in order for prayer to work, right. it's got to be coupled with faith. That's the right. word. Oh, God. Right. And, and, and not at all times am I feeling like 
come in the bay. That's right. All right. Oh, okay. that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and so sometimes it gets frustrating though too that I'm called to pray and and I know it's just words. That's okay. right. Uh -huh. That's right. Mm. Because the faith yeah. has not kicked in. That's uh -huh. right. That's gonna really make a difference. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. That's it, right. It's just it's that it's a bad time. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I can I can pray, but I'm, I'm talking about if we want the victory yeah, yeah, on the yeah, other yeah. side of right. the of the praying, right. I need to have the faith, that's and right. faith takes some work. Yeah, that's right. right. That's right. Oh God. That's right. Faith takes some work. Yeah. It, it, it ain't just talking about I'm, I'm believing God with you. Let come on, let's touch in the grief. God gonna do it. No, 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 no. It's a little bit deeper than that. That's right. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, 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 it's 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 deeper than that. And, and and so many times we end up people end up frustrated with the preacher. Okay. Because the preacher told them that by the time you get home, okay. mm -hmm, okay. it was gonna change. Uh -huh. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and really, by the time you got home, it got worse. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Matter of fact, before you even left church, right. you, and you check your phone, right. and you realize it got worse. Uh -huh. See, so it ain't just something that I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray with you. No, no, it really takes faith. If you want God to really do something, it's impossible to please God That's right. without faith. That's right. That's and so all of this stuff about I'm praying with uh, okay, stop this praying on for me and it'll try about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and this is why I, I'm beginning to tell people as the Lord uh, leads me, I will pray for you. Yeah. Because right. you know we're saying yes to everybody, and most of the time we ain't doing nothing about two or three people. That's right. And 30 folks then ask us to pray. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, sometimes it gets difficult and hard Heavy, yeah. to pray That's right. expecting results. That's right. All right. All right now. Because if you're going if you're going to pray, you might as well expect something That's from God right. to do something. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And, 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 and so it takes something to get that faith up. And let me let me kind of go ahead and tell you what it takes. Because this Bible says that everyone who believes in Jesus Christ has become a child of God. Uh -huh. Okay? And everyone who loves the Father loves his children too. We know we love God's children if we love God and obey his commandments. Okay. Amen. Amen. If you ain't obeying, then you don't love him. Oh, you might get mad with me today. Oh, yeah. But this is just the truth. That's right. Uh, I know, see, I can't, I can't make up for what somebody else has preached to you prior to me. That's right. And gave you an imbalance of the grace message. Yeah. That's right. Because, because grace do more than um, excuses, excuse us. Amen. But but grace also helps us do what we need to do. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. And, and, and I want you to understand that if you don't, if we don't keep his commandments, we don't love him. That's, That's right. right. That's right. And it's impossible for you to love me. That's right. If you don't keep his commandments. That's right. That's right. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm telling you what the Bible says. In verse 2 say, we know we love God's, God's children if we love God and obey his commandments. commandments. That's right. Yeah. I